Genesis 2, 2, and 3, we read about our 11th way to stand for wellness, sufficient rest. We read, And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had done. Then God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because in it he rested from all his work which God had created and made. Sleep is essential to maintain a well-balanced mind and a healthy body. It allows your body to renew itself and aids in healing. Rest strengthens the immune system and can add years to your life. If deprived of adequate sleep, great demands are made on your backup energy resources. If you do this habitually, you can expect to have little resistance to disease and stress later on. Not all sleep, however, is equal. The hours before midnight are better than the hours after. When you get sleep a few hours before midnight, it correlates with the body's natural secretion of melatonin, your circadian rhythm hormone, as well as growth hormone and other regulatory hormones in your body and the body is more rested. The old saying, early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise, has validity to it. Adults need about seven to nine hours of sleep a night, with decreasing amounts as one ages, slightly. Children need more. A mistake that many people make is using medications to help them sleep. This actually decreases the beneficial sleep cycles and leaves you less rested, and you become dependent upon them for sleep. Research has also shown that their use increases your risk of death from all causes by 300 to 500 percent. It is best to avoid them altogether. In order to get a good night's sleep, follow these simple tips. One, avoid caffeine, tobacco, or alcohol. Two, Exercise on a regular basis, but not within two to three hours of bedtime. Three, don't eat within three hours of bedtime. Four, have a regular relaxing bedtime routine that you follow each night. Five, go to bed the same time each night. Six, if you have trouble sleeping at night, avoid taking naps during the day. Number seven, avoid anything exciting before bedtime like movies, TV, uh, news, and so on. Number eight, make a list before bedtime of all that you need to accomplish and plan ahead before bedtime how you will accomplish it. Then refuse to think about them when you lie down. Number nine, pray and give your worries and problems to Jesus and let him carry them. 10, memorize promises from the Bible that speak about peace and God being in control. And number 11, make bedtime your intercessory prayer time. Pray for others and their needs, not you and yours. When your mind is distracted, bring it back again to the task. Anytime you wake up before it's time to be up, pick up your list in your mind where you left off and continue praying for others. Don't forget that you need a day each week to break from the daily grind of work and stress. A day to be grateful as we reflect on God's goodness over the prior week. That is one reason God gave us the Sabbath at creation. God bless you abundantly as you learn to stand for wellness.